Hi there, I'm Brian Green, co-founder of the World Science Festival with Tracy Day. We started the World Science Festival back in 2008 to create a new kind of science experience for the general public. Programming that would capture the wondrous ideas of science, but also the dramatic stories of discovery. So through theater and dance and music and debate and discussion, we've been creating programming that allows the public to experience these ideas in a different way. And it's so exciting for us here in New York to partner with all of you at the Queensland Museum to bring this kind of programming to Australia. Now, for those of you who may be less familiar with the World Science Festival, here's a brief highlights reel that'll give a sense of the range of programs we've been creating. What's such a great adventure about science? The idea that we can all understand science and not have to be scientists is just a wonderful miracle of this festival. Don't try this at home. There's a tremendous appetite in the public for knowing what science is actually accomplishing. Are our genes our destiny? When you're called the father of the internet, most people want to know who's the mother of the internet. Well, <laughs> explain how you see a convergence between biology and quantum mechanics. Is there a mathematical order to nature? What the hell is mathematics? Is there aliens in space? This is what science is about. The excitement, the wonder, the adventure, the discovery. If you ask me what do I hope to find, I don't know, more cool stuff. To moderate this panel on quantum physics, do you know anything about it? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the most intimidating audience to teach uh, a short Black Holes 101 course in front of uh, Professor Stephen Hawking. Give us a, a thumbnail sketch of the beginning of the cosmos as we now know it. You can actually do a, a calculation to find out how many bits are necessary to simulate the universe. The kinds of things that will be said here on this stage this evening are the kinds of things over which wars have been started. There is no animal in the animal kingdom has wreaked the kind of havoc that we have. Unless we take care of the ocean, nothing else really matters. There are two problems that people feel very strongly is what is the environmental risk and what is the human health risk. What happens in 50 years is really up to all of us. We gotta get especially young people interested in science because by the time they hit school, it is literally crushed out of them. I think young people care a lot more about science than we did when we were their age. Who among the young people here would like to go to Mars? I'm gonna cut it this way, right in the center. What can people expect from a free street fair? You won't find falafel or tube socks. This is really wall-to-wall -wall science. I love the idea that they're taking the exhibits out to the people. I am a mathemagician. That's 300 times 238 plus 31 squared, 71,400 plus 961 is 72,361. Let's hear it for algebra! Is something beautiful to you because we're hardwired to like beautiful things or because it relates to reality? <laughs> stereo glasses on. These images, they are artworks of the universe. The storytelling has to be direct enough to move us from one panel to another panel to another panel. I've never been in front of New Yorkers before. It's the World Science Festival. I'll be there. Hi, I'm Alan Alda. And I'm delighted to have this chance to congratulate all of you on the announcement of the World Science Festival Brisbane and to join you in celebrating the launch of this exciting project. You know, when I was in high school, I thought that if you were interested in the arts, you weren't supposed to be interested in science. And this was hard because I was intoxicated by both. Now, after more than 20 years of interviewing some of the most inventive scientists around the world, I realized that the creativity and the rigor and the sheer fun of science is very similar to what keeps the heart beating for those of us in the arts. And it's made me deliriously happy to see the World Science Festival bring art and science together again. Two long lost lovers yearning to be reunited. We're thrilled to join the Queensland Museum and everyone involved in this project in sharing the wonder, the inspiration, and the drama of science with an entirely new audience. 
Thanks.